Well, the Elements Exhibition actually looks at uh, pretty much all of the sort of elements in, in the universe, everything around you, everything that you can see and a lot of things that you can't see. And so it encompasses all aspects of the museum, sort of art, science, history, um, technology. Well, the exhibition was inspired really by a book I came across three years ago by a chap called Theodore Gray, who was an element collector. And it beautifully, uh, it's a beautiful summary of, of what the elements look like, what they're used for, and where they're found, where they're created. And I just thought we could do that in the museum. And then there's the hard reality of, but how? Uh, and that's been the difficult bit, it's taken three years to get to this stage, just drawing together objects from within the museum and beyond. We're delighted that um, the Friends of the Oyster Museum have funded our programming for this exhibition and it, the exhibition's on for two years which will allow us to roll out uh, a really wide range of programming to bring in a lot of different audiences and I think it's important to stress that this exhibition very much supports what we call the STEM agenda um, which is a learning um, initiative and it's science, technology, engineering and maths and this exhibition is a real gift for that. It explores so many of the themes and we're hoping to bring in mainly Key Stage 2 and Key Stage 3 audiences um, with a range of sessions, interactive workshops to really engage with the exhibition and sort of prove to people that chemistry doesn't have to be difficult, doesn't have to be intimidating. Um, the exhibition brings it to life in such quirky ways that we're hoping to really encourage people um, to engage with science. We're very excited about being involved in this new exhibition. It's a high quality exhibition. Uh, it provides an opportunity to engage people of all ages in, in elements in a very colourful and very engaging way. It's all part of our uh, involvement in the wider community in which we operate as business. It, it's, it's very clever in the way that it's laid out and, and how it presents elements in a, in a fun way. Uh, the exhibition's on for at least two years and, well, they'll, when it comes to the exhibition, they'll find a lot of familiar objects. So it's going to be a sort of voyage of discovery.